What's going on guys, it's your boy Evers, back at it with another video, and today I've got a quick video showing you how I make my thumbnails for CSGO videos. I'll try and make it as quick as possible, so yeah, let's get right into it. So you're going to want to get Sony Vegas, I've left links in the description so you can go and download it. So we're just going to open up Sony Vegas and drop in one of our clips. So I've dropped in this clip of a AK skin that I'm using in one of my videos. So I'm going to click on the audio twice and delete that by pressing U. I'm then going to go along the timeline of the video and find the point where I want to make the thumbnail. So adjust here and then drag that back to the start and click at the start and that will be where we're making the thumbnail from. So click on the crop tool and make sure you go over to the mask section at the bottom here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to mask out the edges of the guy's arms, the gloves and the gun itself. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this now. Right, so I've just finished the rough mask around the edges, so you're just going to want to make sure you connect this last dot up, and there we go, we've masked it. Let's take a look here. As you can see, this is the rough finish. In order to smooth it out a little bit more, we're going to go over to the feather section on in, and put the feather to 0.1. What this will basically do is just smooth out the edges and just tidy up the mask a little bit more. But as you can see here, we still haven't completely finished it as around the trigger and the area of the barrel, there's still some parts that need masking out. So now I've masked this out. Um, what we're going to do this time is double click on the box and this will pop up and press the negative icon. And this will mask out negatively because we want to get rid of that part. And go on out on the feather because obviously we're feathering out from those edges. Feather again on 0.1. And now we're just going to do the same for the trigger and the other areas as well. Okay, so that's the trigger masked out, looking pretty good so far. And now just for the last part. Okay, so that's our gun completely masked out and it's looking pretty good. I'm just going to stick it on a white background quickly so you can see it a bit better. There we go. And that is looking pretty amazing if you ask me. Now just to take this one step further, if you do have plugins, I suggest using some Alpha Edges Glow. Uh, this is from BCC. I'll put a link in the description for these plugins. And this is just the default setting. I'm just going to leave it on this for now. But look how amazing that looks. That really looks sick. So yeah, I definitely suggest downloading these plugins so you can get these nice edges. You can change the colours and stuff, but we're just going to leave it as it is. Now what I like to do is add some colour correction. If you don't have it, you can use basically brightness and contrast just to make it stand out a little bit more on your thumbnail. So I've got a already made preset that I use. Um, I'm just going to turn the contrast down a little bit because it's a little bit too bright. And yeah, that looks about right. So there we go. It stands out a lot more now, which will be perfect for my thumbnail. Um, what I'm going to do is add in a background. Um, in case any of you didn't know, um, when you swap to your knife in CSGO, um, there's a, a keyframe or a frame um, where there's nothing showing like as you can see I've just got the background there so I'm going to go ahead and split the clip there and use that as the background so I'm going to move that back down here 
delete the old background, move that down here. And yeah, that's how it looks at the moment. It looks pretty decent. Um, but to give it that finishing touch, I'm going to add some blur to it. Um, if you don't have these plugins, there is a default Sony Vegas blur. It's not as good, but it still does the job pretty well. As you can see, this is looking pretty good. I'm just going to tone it down a little bit so you can turn down the iris scale just to reduce the bit of blur. And that's looking pretty nice. Um, I think I might make the gun a little bit more, a little bit bigger so it stands out better. Um, so you want to go over to position, make sure you're not on the mask, go on to position. And if you drag the box inwards, I believe, um, it will make the gun bigger. So yeah, that's smaller and drag it inwards to make it bigger. I just feel like it will stand out a bit more the larger it is. So I'm just going to move this over here. Yeah, that's looking pretty sick. Um, so basically all we're going to do now really is add some text to it and maybe a few effects. Um, but yeah, this video is basically just to give you a general idea of how you can mask out a gun or something similar for CSGO and make it into a thumbnail. So I'm just going to add this text in here. So video I'm making is the best pink loadout you can get in CSGO. So I'm just going to add that text in with a black outline. I'm just going to rotate it a little bit as well because I think it looks a little bit boring when it's just straight text. But yeah, that's looking pretty nice so far. Um, I might make a couple of changes here just to make it a bit brighter as well. So I've changed it to the text pink where it says pink obviously. Um, and I'm also doing a giveaway in the video so I've added that giveaway text in as well. And I haven't gone into great detail but I just wanted to give you a general idea of how you can mask out a skin and make it sort of stand out with the glowing edges and add your text over it and it looks pretty good for most videos. Right that's all for today's video guys. Thanks for watching and I hope that helped you out a bunch. Please subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.